Hey, what's going on YouTube? This video is going to be about the Hubs and Zeno 2. That's right, the Hubs and Zeno 2. So let's get into the opening. Let's unbox it and see what we have. Um, I hope you guys can see this and I apologize ahead of time if the table is vibrating, but it's the only table I have right now that's available. One of the things that happened to me, guys, I went in to get um, my knees replaced. They call it a bilateral knee replacement. And while I was in there, my right knee came out perfect, but my left knee got infected with MRSA. And I've been in the hospital for seven weeks, seven weeks. And I come home and I see these wonderful, wonderful prices. <clears throat> wonderful, wonderful toys to play with. So here it is, guys. I just cracked it open. And uh, let's see what we get. So the packaging came in pretty, pretty, Pretty well, it wasn't beat up like the normal Chinese package. And wow, the Z Zeno 2 has been a long awaited um, drone because it's a very nice drone under 400 bucks, 4K, 60 frames a second. And I want to thank my sponsor, GearBest, for helping me get this as quickly as I did. So it looks like, and I'll turn it around so you guys can see. And it comes in a very nice packaging. You see that? It comes in a nice case. And there we are. There's the case. What do you guys think? It's a lunchbox case. Um, it looks like um, it's going to be a very nice case to kind of travel with. And currently I'm sitting in the wheelchair, guys, because my knee's still not very good. I don't have flexibility. My right knee is, is in great shape. But let's get back to this unboxing. Check it out. Nice. Oh my gosh, it's got a lot of weight to it, guys. Okay, it looks like um, during travel that uh, my camera protection came off. But that's okay. That, no worries. Um, and we have the um, the prop guards here, preventing it from getting damaged. I'm going to take those off real quick. Boom, boom, boom. It looks like it's going to open up basically the same way. Front, front legs go first. Back legs go next. Nice. There it is. Check out the camera, boys and girls. Whoa. Cool, right? <laughs> Dang, man. This is nice. Okay, so let's take a look at the differences, right? So now we have actually a uh, flap here to um, protect it from the elements before in the past. The previous Xeno and Xeno Pro didn't have this uh, um, protector here from the USB port uh, you can see here and also the SD card is going to be in here right sorry about my fingernails man I had a long haul trying to get back into the to the swing of things you can see my skin is coming off I had a, um, <coughs> a reaction to the vincomycin that was being used as an antibiotic to fight uh, I had a MRSA infection in my knee so my skin is really messed up but anyway let's get back to what we're talking about here so we had the SD card that we uh, put in there and again it's protected for the elements with a nice little um, <clears throat> flap here that snaps in it's a silicone flap that you can see is pretty pretty nice and then you have the micro USB connector for any kind of firmware or diagnostics you're gonna have to do uh, we have new vents here fan on the top and vents in the back 
to keep the processor down cool. The other things that we can see here and everybody's been talking about, not all our motors are cool too. And we have very nice LEDs sitting right on the bottom. So that's one of the things that Hubson's done real well in my opinion has been the LEDs. All right, so now we're talking about a few sensors here. As you can see, we have the camera, the, okay. And then we have the two infrared sensors and a battery. Oh, nice. Check it out. A real battery with some intelligence. So we can see the charge right built into the battery versus the old version that didn't have that before. So it goes in the back and it snaps in. Let's listen. Nice. Okay. So what do you guys think? So far, it's looking very nice. Looking good. All right. So like I said earlier, I, it came off with this... Um, camera protector off so let me see if I can figure out how to put this on here it's first time doing it and as usual they're a little they're a little finicky right let's see if I can get it lined up right first time doing it guys I guess before I put that on there we should talk about the camera what do you think it's pretty good right so we got the roll, we got the pitch, and we got the yaw. All right, looking pretty good. Nothing, no sensors here. Just looks like we have sensor, but there's no sensors there. Let's see if I can get this on there. So this way, I get it. I think I get it. Sorry, guys. My first time I'm going to fumble through this. It looks like the little tabs are right there. Yeah, so I see two two tabs here and then two tabs there and then there's a little snap, snappy here. So the trick is going to be... I didn't get the front tabs right, it looks like. Yeah, not. So, okay. A few things to, to look at this thing, guys. There's two alignment pins on the side and two front tabs on the top. So you got to get those lined up first, just right. But let's take a look. See? And so what I'm talking about is the two tabs right here. And then you have this alignment pins here that you have to get it right before you can snap it into place with this locking tab in the back. We'll try it again and again being a novice it'll take me a little bit of a try and you got to be patient with these things because you know what it just I'm, I'm new at it I'll give it a go three so guys I wanted to give you a close-up of this um, camera cover and the tab is right here to, to unlock lock it and it comes off. So one of the things to note here is there's, there's two tabs here that these two pieces must go in first and there's two alignment pins that go into these holes. And that's critical of getting this camera in here correctly. Okay, so try to get your camera lined up. Then you drop this guy right in there. Your alignment pins should automatically align and then you just snap it down. There you are, rocking and rolling. What do you guys think? I like the cover. It takes a little getting used to it, but you'll get it. All right, I hope that helps. Once again, the front goes in first, then the alignment pins, and then you lock it down. In here, boom. There you are. All right, so there we are. Now, let's take a look at the controller. I was really interested in the controller next. And the controller is stowed away right in here. Really tight fit, which I like. It's got a lot more weight to it than the, the previous one. So that's super nice. Um, and now, oh man, look. 
The antennas fit in here nicely. They lock into place. They're not flopping around like the previous generation, right? And they come out pretty, pretty nicely. You see that? Okay, I'll spin it around so I can see it. Now, the other thing to notice that we have an LCD display that's going to give us some telemetry and some other additional information. So we have auto takeoff and auto home here. We have the power on button and then we have multifunction button here. It looks like F and S buttons. The nice thing about the Hubson's Xeno product line, in my opinion, has always been this kind of phone holder because it allows you to open it up. Obviously, it's not going to hold a tablet, but it's going to hold a good size phone. The other thing that we see here is that we're stowing away our, our sticks right here. And of course, I'm doing this blindly, so it's going to be a little harder for me to do. But the, the sticks are pretty decent aluminum, and they have nice little barbs that you can, uh, won't allow to slip off your fingers. So if you're a two-finger pincher, you can pinch it just right. And if you're just a thumb driver, you got it because, oh man, the gimbal feels good. It's not toy quality at all. Right here, the gimbal's looking good. Nice. Remember when you let go of the Xeno controller, the Xeno Pro controller, the gimbal would go twang like a toy grade. Not this. Very nice. So, I'm impressed. I'm super impressed. So, all right, getting back to the controller. It looks like we have the record button as usual. The camera, this is a video record, and this is your camera, and then we have a special function button that we can program. So, that is nice. All right, let's get back to the bag and see what else I have. I, I ordered this particular model. I ordered a Fly More Combo kit. <clears throat> And I'm going to show you what's in, in the rest of the bag here. I'm going to move this up again. So here's how they packed it from the factory, guys. What do you think? Let's start pulling stuff out blindly. Now we have the power supply to charge the batteries. Okay. We have a set of spare props with the screwdriver. It looks very similar to what we had in the past. We have the mandatory cables. And wow, okay, that's, this is nice. This is um, snaps right into to charge our battery. We have the USB cable, the micro uh, micro USB to USB A cable to connect to the, to the aircraft, and we have the three types of phones that we can use. So they give us the um, USB C uh, connector. They give you the uh, Lightning connector for the Apple product line. And they give you the USB, micro USB, right? So it kind of cover all the bases. Most of us with the Android, of course, are going to probably use the USB-C. And, of course, the iPhone users are going to be using the uh, lightning connectors. So that's what we're looking at here. I was expecting an extra battery. Uh, and here it is. I think that's what it is. Yeah, okay, so they did a good job stowing the battery right in here. Dang, got my extra battery. So guys, that is the unboxing of the Xeno, right? The battery and the charger 
the connectors for the controller, the extra props, of course, the aircraft, and that is it. All right, so in the next video, we're going to be going over some of the flight capabilities and all the other autonomous features that the Xeno 2 is capable of doing. And uh, I really look forward to getting back in the saddle and give you guys the information you want to be able to fly the hubs and Xeno in a way that is safe, easy, and save you some, some time. So I'll try to come up with as many tips and tricks for you guys to use. But that is set for today's video. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you like the contents of the channel, guys, I would greatly support um, your support by hitting that subscribe button. The other thing I want to do is, I'll, in the link below, this is going to be my dogs barking, guys. I got my daughter walking in. And um, hit the links below, guys. And if you purchase from the links below, I get credit for the sale. And, uh, and it helps the channel out, okay? So give me some love back. Use the links below. And I'll get a little bit of a commission. They'll help the channel grow so I can do this product reviews for you guys. All right. Once again, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you guys in future videos. You guys take care. Bye-bye.